Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2S plus NiSO4. This is sodium sulfide, and here we have nickel sulfate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced. Next, we write the state for each substance, and that looks like this. Compounds with the sodium ion are very soluble. Compounds with the sulfate ion, in general, they're soluble. But compounds with sulfide, most of the time, they're insoluble. They'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. The exceptions are some of the group 1 elements, like sodium sulfide or potassium sulfide and ammonium sulfide. But in general, sulfide's insoluble, so this will be a precipitate. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And in ionic equations, we don't split apart solids, so we're going to leave the NIS together. That'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation for Na2S plus NiSO4. Now we're going to cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So on the reactants here, we have two sodium ions right here. And in the products again, we have two sodium ions. These are spectator ions. We're going to cross those out. Looks like we have a sulfate ion in the reactants and again in the products, spectator ions. Cross them out. What's left is the net ionic equation for Na2S plus NiSO4. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium sulfide plus nickel 2 sulfate. You'll note charge is balanced. We have a 2 plus and 2 minus. So this gives us a net charge of 0. Over here, neutral compound, net charge of 0. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Na2S plus NiSO4. Thanks for watching.